بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Okay dear students would you please open your books Smart Class 6 today we have English Okay Let's remember what did we study on holiday Do you remember unit 3 lesson 1 on holiday We had the sentence Let's revise what did we say about the sentence The boys packed the bags what about the boys? We said that the boys is the subject and packed is the verb and the bags the object. And we said this is the past simple tense. You remember these verbs? How did we change their form from the base form to the past? We just added the ed. We just added the ed to the verbs to change from the pace form to the past to the past simple tense okay and we said these verbs are called regular verbs we say these verbs are regular verbs okay so we had the past simple tense and we had some verbs some regular verbs and this is was on holiday Today, inshallah, we're going to study smart class. Open your books on page 34, 34, smart kids. What are we going to do, to do today? Inshallah, by the end of the lesson, we will talk about, again, past actions. We will learn some verbs talking about past actions. And also, we're going to talk about weekend events okay let's start with the vocabulary we have here some words five words we have this one and the girl what is she doing what is this what do you think what is this and here this man what is he doing what is the boy doing with the fish okay let's hear how can we read these words and then we will talk about them? Okay, forest. Pick flowers. River, make a fire, catch a fish. Forest, pick flowers. River, make a fire and catch a fish. Okay. Which of these words are nouns and which are verbs? The first one, forest. Of course, forest is a lot of trees together. So this is called forest. Pick flowers. What do you think of pick flowers? Okay, pick flowers is a verb. What do you think of river? This is not a sea, this is a river. Okay, so river is a noun. What do you think of make a fire? Of course, this is a verb, make a fire. And what do you think of catch a fish? This is also a verb. Okay, listen to them. Two or three, smart kids. Vocabulary, forest, pick flap. Module 3, Smart Kids, Vocabulary, Forest, Pick Flowers, River, Make a Fire, Catch a Fish. Okay, thank you. So, 
forest, pick flowers, river, make a fire, catch a fish, and now you know what are the nouns and what are the verbs. Okay, let's move. What can you see here? Here we have some pictures. We have five pictures, and we have here a story of a girl. Her name is Fatma, and she is talking about her weekend. What did she do in the weekend? At the weekend, she is talking to her friend. The girl is Fatma. Look at number one. Fatma is holding some pictures. These pictures are about the weekend, the activities or the events of the week of the of the family's weekend. Okay, here, what did she do with her brother? This is one of the pictures. What did she do? This is her brother Omar. Here, number three, this is the family. What did they do? And here, again, Fatma and her brother Omar, what did they do? And finally, what happened to Omar? Okay, listen to the audio, and then we are going to answer some questions together. One, listen and read. Hi, Fatima. What did you do at the weekend? My family and I went to the forest. We had a lot of fun. Our father took pictures. Look. I caught a big fish. My brother Omar swam in the river. Our father made a fire and my mother cooked the fish. We ate the fish for lunch. It was delicious. Then Omar and I picked flowers. They were beautiful. But then we saw a lot of bees and... Oh, poor Omar. Okay, again, what did they do at the weekend? Here, Fatma is describing what happened to her and her family at the weekend. Where did they go? Here, when we see the auxiliary did, so the event is in the past. Here, we are asking about something happened in the past. Okay, where did they go? They went to the forest. You see the forest? They went to the forest. They had a lot of fun and their father took pictures. So the verb is took, went, had. Here, what did she do? She caught, caught a fish. So this verb is in the past. And her brother swam, swam in the river. Again, the family here, the father, what did he do? He made a fire. He made a fire. Why? Because the mother cooked the fish. The mother cooked the fish. This is one of the verbs that we said. This is regular verb. We added the ed. But you can see, notice these verbs. Made, went, caught. No ed at the end of these verbs. Also here we ate, was. Umar, what did he do with his sister? They picked flowers. This is regular verb. And they saw a lot of bees here. So again, let's see the verbs. We said this is happening in the past or this happened in the past. We use some verbs. These verbs are irregular verbs the verbs that don't have the ed at the end. The base form of the verb changes when we change the verb into a past, okay? Go becomes went when we talk in the past. Have, had, take, talk, swim, swam, catch, coat, make, made, eat, ate, see, saw. So these verbs are irregular verbs in the past. So, they went to the forest. Here, the sentence is in the past. The subject is they, and the verb went is one of the irregular verbs, and the sentence 
is in the past. The tense of the verb here is the past, simple. But the verb is irregular. We don't have ed at the end. Let's do the exercise. Number two, we have the names of the family members and we want to finish these sentences. Who took pictures? What do you think? Who took pictures? Fatma, Omar, their father, or their father or their mother? Yes, their father. Swam in the river. Swam, the verb, swam. This is happening all in the past. Who swam in the river? Umar. Who caught a big fish? Fatima. Who cooked the fish? Their mother. Who picked flowers? Umar and Fatima. Okay? You have to answer all this, these sentences, please. Write the names of the family members. Thank you. Okay, let's move to the exercise, the listening exercise. Now listen and tick. What did the children do? Here we have one, two, three, and each one has two pictures. I want you to listen and decide. Is it A or B? Okay? Are you ready? Okay. Three. Listen and tick. What did the children do? One. On Friday, my brother Saud and I went to the forest with our father. It was great. Yes. Two. We had so much fun. We picked flowers and my brother swam in the river. Yes, it is B. My father cooked three fish yes. and my mother cooked them at home. They were delicious. Yeah, the father caught three fish. So it is B. Okay. Let's move to the speaking exercise. Ask and answer. Here we have two boys and these two boys are talking about their weekend. One of them is asking his friend about, about his weekend. I wanted to, uh, to write a question and ask your brother or sister about what did they do at the weekend. And let's listen to these two boys. What are they saying? Four. Ask and answer. What did you do at the weekend? I went to the swimming pool. Okay, so what about you? What did you do at the weekend? What did you do at the weekend? You can write your question here when you ask. What did you do at the weekend? And then again, when your friend asks you, you write the answer down. Okay? So this is the question. You ask your friend. Now, you can ask your brother or your sister, what did you do at the weekend? And you can answer any, use any of the verbs that we studied. Like, for example, I went to the zoo, I went to the shopping mall, I cooked dinner, I played football with my uh, brothers, um, I studied English, for example, I wrote my homework, I swam in the swimming pool. You can make sentences starting with the verb I when you talk about yourself and use any of the past verbs and you continue your sentence so you have a good English sentence. Okay? Okay, let's use these words to talk about the past. Can we make a sentence using the verb, the word forest? For example, I went to the forest. Yes, I went to the forest. Ahmed went to the forest. Pick flowers, this is a verb. 
Can we make a sentence together? In the past. Can we change the verb into the, into the past? Okay, for example, مثلاً, Noura picked flowers in the garden. Noura picked flowers. This is regular verb. Regular verb. We added ed. River. I or she or they or we swam in the river. Make a fire. Make is a regular verb. Let's change the verb into the past. My father made a fire. My father made a fire. When we were in a picnic. My father made a fire. Catch a fish. This is regular or irregular? What do you think? Is this verb regular or irregular verb? Do we add ed to change it into the past or we just change the whole word? Okay, so this is irregular verb. So, مثلاً, this boy is Ali. His name is Ali. Ali caught a fish. Ali caught a fish. So, now you know we have two kinds of verbs. We have regular verbs. We have regular verbs. The verbs that we change, that we add only ed at their uh, ends when we talk about the past like the verb jump, jumped, sail, sailed, they sailed a boat yesterday, they sailed, they walked to school yesterday, they played football on last Monday. So this is regular verb and we have The irregular verbs, the verbs that we change the whole form of them to change them into the past, like the verb make, made, my mother made a cake yesterday, okay, we ate a chicken sandwich last night, we had fun playing last, uh, Saturday, so when we talk about the past, we change the irregular form of the verbs and you have to know them. You have to know how to write them well. I saw my friend in the, uh, uh, in the mall yesterday. So these verbs are called irregular. So now you know the regular verbs and the irregular verbs, the, word, the verbs that we have to change their form to be in the past. Okay? Okay, the homework is you go to page 103 and you answer the questions in page 103. Okay, so again,
You can answer your co the questions on page 103, and you have to answer also the questions on page 102. And I wish you uh, had a good time with me. We studied on holiday and we studied also smart kids. These two lessons were talking about the past. How can we talk about the past? Some past actions or events happened to us. Uh, you can write down your sentences in your books and you can also answer the questions in your workbook. Uh, thank you and wish you a good day.